Well, one of my uh, deep beliefs is that uh, American foreign policy has to engage people directly, and uh, you know, the entire Southeast Asia region uh, is growing, it is booming, uh, it's the economy of the future, uh, and the people here, I think, uh, you know, are deeply interested in engaging with uh, Americans, despite the really challenging history. You know, during the Vietnam War, we bombed Laos more than probably any square inch of Earth uh, anywhere. And yet, despite that, since that time, uh, there's a deep interest in working with America on development issues, on nutrition issues, on education issues. Uh, and you know, our ability to engage Laotians and Burmese and uh, Vietnamese uh, you know, will create a new chapter in our history that uh, allows us to uh, you know, strengthen our position all around the world. Uh, and we also learn from uh, the incredible beauty and culture of these places. Uh, I gotta get one for a That's about $2. <laughs> oh, you got me again? Oh no! I didn't realize this was so hazardous. <laughs> I'm going to smell like a coconut. Oh, one more. If you look at what we've done in Cuba, in Myanmar, in Laos, and Vietnam, uh, these are countries that were historic enemies, and uh, it grows out of the vestiges of the Cold War. But uh, a new generation of people uh, all around the world are ready to turn the chapter and we have to meet them uh, and work with them. Uh, although they have different political systems, oftentimes uh, when it comes to issues like human rights, uh, we have deep differences with their governments. Uh, when we are able to come here, show respect for their culture, recognize uh, our history, and then you know, point towards a future in which we can work together, we will actually have more influence. Uh, we'll be able to promote our ideals more effectively. Uh, and we'll also learn from uh, these countries. And uh, you know, for so long, the United States has been so big, so powerful, that we felt that we could afford not to know about a country like Laos. Uh, but the world has shrunk. It's interconnected. Uh, and if we want to deal with issues from climate change to wildlife trafficking to uh, you know, dealing with terrorism, uh, we need the cooperation of everybody. And uh, that's part of what we've been able to accomplish, I think, over the last uh, seven, eight years is uh, open up places that previously were closed and engage people in ways that will pay uh, huge dividends in the future.